guys, good morning man, it's Dr. Fino, your plans doctor as usual. Um, today what I'm going to be doing is a bit of pipe work, so I'm going to do a little bit of brazing using mop gas. Um, so I'm just going to cut off a little stub here that I have on a compressor that I would have used in a previous video. Um, I'm just going to cut off a little stub and I'm going to swage it and I'm going to fit it back together using some nitrogen to the lines for purging, purging it with nitrogen while I'm brazing it. I'm just going to show you guys that and how it's done. So just bear with me, let me just get my camera set up so you guys can see it. And this is our compressor today that I'll be using. So I braised in this piece that I got off a fruit refrigeration system and there's the king from the factory. So I'm just going to cut out that king portion, switch this and I'm going to braise this little piece back in there and I cut out this portion. Oh. oh, and I have my nitrogen already set up. That's my nitrogen need. Valve, this is my regulator. Um, this is my manifold gauge. I already have it set up. So we're about to do some work here. to show you this is my mop gas bottle I have a hose adapter hose and this is my torch it's my handy dandy flint lighter yep my brazen rod this is my swaging tool this is the body, this is the spindle, my tip right here, and in the background, this is Lily, <laughs> this is our pet tortoise. Yep, there's Lily, it's a female. It's a tortoise. I guess do, these things were from somewhere in the Amazon. They are brought here by our locals. The four settled, the, the indigenous people that settled here first. I think they would have brought these. They want me to leave me a video, so get out of here. Leave. So the first order of the day is to cut this pipe right at that kink here right there so I have my tube cutter so I'm going to place her on the line and you just want to grip it just slightly you want to tighten it too much and as you turn you just tighten and what is happening this blade is just going deeper and deeper in so as I tighten and I turn it's sinking deeper and deeper into the copper this is soft copper remember these tubes for refrigeration you use soft copper Okay, so there she go. So I'm just gonna do this portion now, get this little kink out. That's what I'm gonna get out. So I'm just gonna cut it.
just gonna see them out of the day. On the turn you tighten. As you turn you tighten. I made a mistake I should have actually cut the small portion off at the top. Yeah, well she's done. So I'm gonna debar this with my Rima. All it is is three blades placed at a 45 degree angle in a circular cup. I'm going. Because the blade would have been pressing on the two. So that extra lip that will be made around the tube, the opening of the tube, that's what you're trying to get rid of. is in a vertical position so that all the shavings and debris, debris will be left downwards you don't want this stuff getting into your compressor because it's gonna it may move all the way around and block the capillary tube which is a very fine tube I'm gonna show you one in a while So this is what it looks like now. Now it's not that it's all rimmed out. That's my nitrogen in there. I'm just doing that too. So I can blow some of the debris that would have gotten up into this out. So I would have blown the debris out of, out of it. I'm going to switch it now. So my, my block right here. This is quarter inch. So you fit it in there. I put there about. Uh -huh. It's ruled that you tighten the end of the block closest to the pipe that you're gonna switch and all switching is is making an open opening a pipe to a diameter to fit a pipe of the same diameter or two into that pipe so I'm making it wide enough to fit the outside diameter of an actual quarter inch into it that's all I'm doing really that's all switching really is. So I place my switching bar, my spindle, the center of my tube. I'm turning. So I'm turning. Turning, 
just turning on my handle turning beginning to get wider turning turning and turning the entire as it reverse it a little bit and you go again it's almost there one more okay that's it so I'm gonna open it reverse it now Spindle. And you can see there that my hole hole right there. I release it. So this is what my switch end looks like. You see that? This is what it looks like. And this is how I'm gonna brace it on. This is the position it will be in as it's been braised so it's the tube can fit over it comfortably the diameter of the tube quarter inch can fit over it no it's switch amazing isn't it so my, my next line of duty is to debar this hole You see that extra lip around it? That's what we're trying to remove. That extra set of copper that is sort of folded over the hole. That's what you move when you deborn it. So I'm gonna let my nitrogen flow. Just have it almost, it's about 18 pounds per square inch of pressure here. So while I deburr it, the compressed nitrogen that's flowing through it will push any debris that's about to fall. Yep. I don't want this stuff to get into your compressor. Get between the pistons. It's about 25 pounds per square inch now. Yep. Let you see inside my pipe now. So you see the difference now? So we've cleaned away all of that. And my nitrogen would have pushed it any debris that was falling into it. So 
So I'm just going to use some sandpaper. I'm just going to clean around the air of this pipe. If you don't have sand, you can use any cloth also. clean and shiny I'm going to get it as clean as possible and I'm going to fit this on now you don't need any type of any type of flux to do this brazen job because brazen rod is self fluxing so fast so it's self fluxing so I'm going to let my torch rip now That's my job. I have nitrogen flowing in it also. So you might while my nitrogen was flowing, I was bruising it. So what that would have done would have pre prevented any oxi oxidization and any scales to be formed on the inside of the copper. And in order for me to know if this is done completely well, if you can hear my nitrogen, it's escaping on the other side, which is just opening on this pipe. So all I gotta do is plug here. This joint looks fairly well. So guys, turn my manifold gauge off. It's my adjusting screw, my adjusting handle. So guys, it's been another production from the doctor, appliance doctor, Dr. Finner. Thanks for tuning in. I'll have some more videos for you in the future. So thanks again. May God bless. Peace out. Dr. Finner, man.